Hi, my name is Sheila. Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm just going to spend some time talking about doing things differently. It's actually very funny that I'm start, well, okay, it's not funny. It's interesting that I'm starting this video with a conversation about doing things differently. I have not shared any actual videos of me being in the gym, any workouts lately because I pretty much do the same thing. I was actually listening to a friend's video earlier today and he was talking about how simple it is to get in shape and be healthy, practice wellness. <laughs> I don't know how else to, to add to that, but he talked about the simplicity of it and that it's basically move your body and eat right, really and truly. And I responded back to him, I said, yeah, it's math and it's consistency. So yes, if you're moving your body, expending calories and watching what you're eating in terms of calories, then, you know, outside of genetics and what happens with that, you have a lot of control over what your body looks like and feels like, how it performs. On a daily basis, I generally do most of the same things. I switch up a little in terms of summer and spring and fall versus winter because I'm not a winter kind of person. So I don't really do a whole lot of running outside during the winter. I mostly focus on inside activities. I'm typically that person you will see on the cardio machine. Although I do like to pride myself in lifting weights and you guys have been, you know, working hard on that. It's one of those things that I fall on and out of love with. And it's not really a love thing, it's a time thing. If I have to pick and choose, I'm usually gonna do cardio and then just keep it going. Because in my head, I'm always telling myself, I can go back home, I have weights and a medicine ball and all of these other things that I can use for weight training. But my treadmill is on its last leg. So if I'm gonna be at the gym, I'm gonna get on the treadmill or the elliptical. I don't even have one of those. At home, I do have a water rower and that's just a little different. So part of it has to do with consistency, but there's also this piece of doing things different, taking a more challenging role sometimes so that you can experience personal growth so that you can just experience some new things sometimes. One of the new things that I've started doing is to expand what I'm doing in the year of fitness to Facebook Reels. <laughs> and this is a major challenge for me because a lot of my friends and people in the community follow me on Facebook, just like, you know, you probably if you're on Facebook, they're people you know. Whereas on YouTube, most of the people that follow me on YouTube or that see my videos or even subscribe, I don't know those people. They don't know me. I'm not going to run into them at the grocery store. Although I will say that I did run into this guy at Starbucks one day and he was just like, oh, keep up the good work. I watch your videos on YouTube. And I was just like, uh, okay, thank you. It's like your alter ego and you don't want people to know who are in your real life about your YouTube avatar life. You know, you're like a totally different person. So I expanded <laughs> some of my fitness stuff to Facebook. Now, a lot of people who already follow me on Facebook know that I'm a fitness person. I post from the gym every once in a while. They'll see me out running, especially when it's during election season. I'll run down to, you know, to wherever one of the voting locations is. And I'll remind people that early voting is going on or something like that. I do do some of that, but Facebook Reels does not have a way for you to turn it off for your friends. <laughs> so all of my friends get to see this stuff now. And it's very interesting because I am doing something different that they haven't quite seen me do before. Now they have seen me do some interesting things with video. Some of those things are like, and some of them are just like, Sheila, that's almost cringy, okay? But to do it on a consistent basis is something entirely different. I'm actually enjoying it though. 
I love the idea of putting together short form video and having that in one specific location. I find that I like Facebook Reels more than I like TikTok. TikTok was so much about dancing that I could never really get into it. And even though I have a few videos over there and I'm gonna add some more, I'm gonna actually add them to both Facebook Reels and TikTok. I find for some reason that I like Facebook Reels better. I'm not even sure why. I think it's because I feel like there's more opportunity there for you to go beyond just doing dancing. TikToks was so associated with dancing. People didn't do that with Facebook Reels. It's like, yeah, there's a lot of TikTok stuff on fa on Facebook, but there are a whole lot of people who are just on Facebook and are just adding Reels. And so there was never this underlying thinking that Facebook Reels was TikTok-ish. Okay, maybe that's my thinking. I don't know. Now I'm to the point where I'm comparing and trying to figure out what each platform is going to be like in terms of health and fitness and what I do as an attorney. I'm still trying to figure all of those pieces out. Facebook is still sort of this family and friend and community sort of space because most of those people are family and friends and people who know me out in the community. That is always going to be the case. I also have a separate, okay, I have a few separate Facebook pages that focus on other things. In general though, my Facebook profile personal page is sort of me and all of me and sort of everything about me. Facebook Reels though is going to be entirely about fitness to a certain extent. Like I said before, I am loving it. I love that it's short form and it can be like almost micro short as I really started to look at what some other people put out there. I haven't done any rooms on Facebook. I haven't done any stories on Facebook. One of the other things I'm thinking about in terms of how I produce content now is making sure that where I'm producing content, it is a place that is actually going to compensate me for the work that I'm doing. As artists and creators and just people who are working, if this is something that you wanna do and make money from it, there are ways to do that. And so I'm being strategic about where I spend my time, how I create content, and then where I share that content. So in terms of health and fitness and sort of lifestyle, that's gonna be YouTube for me now. I feel like YouTube is a place where I have grown. I started at the end of December, 2017, and it has not been easy. It has definitely been interesting and challenging. <laughs> that's a whole, that's a whole nother video. I felt a little weird about it. Then I started adding in some of the legal stuff, but it felt too much like legal work, like attorney work. And I didn't really want to do that on YouTube. My face is like aching. Oh my gosh. I didn't really want to do that on YouTube. I wanted it to be enjoyable, entertaining and providing value but in a way that didn't make me feel like I was working all the time. So this is a way of, of sharing and bringing value in a way that's productive for me and, and pays me to some extent. So that's what's going on with YouTube. I am going to try to be a little bit more strategic about how I do content. So for instance, I'm constantly making lists, but, and I have goals and I'm like tracking things, but in terms of day-to-day -day activities, that's what I need to work on. I need to be more so, okay, these are the things that I want to do every day. Now I have that for some of my activities, but I don't have it for everything. So I'll think of things. I'll be like, oh, I haven't done a community YouTube post in a while. Well, that should be something that I do every day. Like I said earlier, my my um, fitness routine sort of stays the same most days. So I don't need to do a video on that every day saying, okay, I got on the elliptical for 65 minutes. Okay, I got on the elliptical for 65 minutes. Okay, you get that, right? It'd almost be better for me to do a community post saying, hey, here's what I did, maybe breaking down the weight training part of it, having one photo and then saying, did you do your workout today? How was your workout today? What do you feel like you're missing from your workout? Something like that is just sort of a pop-up reminder to people that, 
oh yeah, I want to get my workout in today because Sheila is constantly sharing hers and I feel like I'm not getting my workout in. I think that might be a better way to do that. But what I then have to make sure I do is to incorporate time into my schedule that says, hey, well, at, you know, 8 a.m. every day, that might be a little early, 9 a.m. every day, there's a community post that goes out. The only thing about that is if I want to focus it on, did you do your workout today? It's not something I can schedule in advance. So that is an activity that would have to be performed every day. It's not that it would take that long. I could probably actually do it from the gym as I'm doing my warm up. That might be a way to do that. But that's how I'm starting to think about that. So I have YouTube now with long form, short form, and community posts. I have Facebook Reels that's entirely, if you're looking at just the Reels, that's going to be around health and fitness. I have TikToks. Here's the thing about TikToks, what I'm thinking of changing, because I want each platform to be different. I don't want them to be the all, you know, like somebody goes to Facebook and said, oh, I just saw all of those on her TikTok. No. So what I'm thinking about for TikTok is having all of the same short videos, but then also having just videos where I'm just talking. I think that would make that a little bit different too. So that takes care of TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook Reels. Now the big <laughs> fourth one is Instagram. What am I going to do with Instagram? I have always had an issue with Instagram, primarily because in the beginning, Instagram was so driven by aesthetics, right? Like people had to have a certain look and everybody went outside and posed and there was this whole, you know, we got to have filters so that everything looks good. I just never felt like that was authentic. It was just like, Oh my gosh, it was just way too much work to share content. People were just trying to make it all look so great. And it did, but it was just sort of like, well, where's the value? I mean, you got me with the eye candy, right? I'm here, but is it worth it? Are you providing value to me or am I just here to look and see, oh, okay, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. So I'm still trying to figure out what Instagram is going to be. And it may be that it's an even bigger mishmash of the Facebook Reels and TikTok. Maybe it's both. I don't know. I'm working on that. In terms of priority, this is definitely number four when it comes to that kind of content production. So that's how I am doing things a little differently this year. I'm really trying to reach some goals that I want to reach. I'm really challenging myself, pushing forward, getting those things done. And yeah, that's it. So I'm here to support you also continuously on your health and fitness journey, on the goals that you have for yourself and doing even more for yourself in 2022 and beyond. And that's it. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and mwah, peace.